Hello everybody, Elias5891 here with another Contain Module tutorial. This time we are covering the Caesar Cycle Module. Uh, yes, a lot of you want the Cycle Modules. We may or may not do all of them, but in case we do decide to do more, I thought it'd be important to kind of set a foundation and cover this easiest of the modules. And that's set. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Uh, all of the Cycle Modules have the same general shape. You've got a QWERTY keyboard, Eight keys, eight letters, written in some color, white in this case, uh, that are turned so that their knobs are pointing in one of eight orientations, and some sort of hint as to which uh, transformation you need. For Caesar, it is A to B. Really think that should be in the uh, little C CVG up here, but SVG up here, but whatever. Uh, so. If you know how to do a Caesar cipher, this is this is easy. Um, for this one, as a diffuser, and this is going to kind of apply for most of the cycles, you're going to read the characters left to right, disregard if they're top or bottom, that doesn't matter. Uh, the pointing is at the top, so sometimes you may have to reorient the letters. Uh, in this case, the letters would be Alpha, Kilo, Echo, Uniform, Delta, Foxtrot, Echo, X-Ray. Not fond of the font used. I don't like this kind of floating F bit. It's like, oh, it's a... I don't know, it doesn't look like an F to me. Anyway, you give the letters. That's uh, a little stretchier than I intended. That's better. Alright, so there are our letters as they appear. Next, we need to know... And this is how it words it. We need to know how many 45 degree rotations from north in a clockwise direction the dial is pointing. So count off your positions. North is zero, one for northeast, two for east, three for southeast, four for south, five for southwest, six for west, and seven for northwest. We're just gonna count how many positions uh, and we're gonna do each one in the same order. So that would be two, six, four, two, three, seven, Zero, six. Easy pleasy. Once we have our letters and our numbers, uh, it's a Caesar cipher. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those letters, convert them at least mentally into their numerical position. So A is 1, K is 11, E is 5, U is 21, so on down the line, and subtract the number of turns we had. So we're going to count backwards that many letters. Uh, alphabet loops in this case. So A minus 2 would be a Y. Uh, K is 11, minus 6 is 5, 5 is E. E minus 4, E is 5, minus 4 is 1, 1 is A. U is 21, minus 2 is 19, 19 is S. Uh, and we're going to go through until we find enough to figure out which of these bolded words we're looking for. In this case... Yay sayer. Uh, let's double check. D is 1, minus 3. D is 4, minus 3 is 1A. F is 6, minus 7 is negative 1. So we're going to go backwards. Uh, so F, E, D, C, B, A, Z, Y. Uh, e minus 0 is E. X is 24, minus 6 is 18. 18 is R. Yay sayer. Once we have a word here, we're going to look at the answer word, gauntlet. We're going to take the same conversion and we're going to run it in the other direction. We subtracted these numbers to get these letters. So now, to re encode, we're going to add these numbers. So G is 7 plus 2 is 9i, A is 1 plus 6, 7, 7 is G. U is 21, plus 4 is 25, Y, N, O, P, sometimes I do the number, sometimes I just count off, it's a small digit, uh, T, U, V, W, L is 12, and 7 is 19, 19 is S, E stays the same, uh, 20 and 6 is 26. So we'll read back the answer, India Golf, Yankee Papa, Whiskey, Sierra, Echo, Zulu. 
If you're correct, it turns green, it spells out well done, and you get to move on to the next one. Uh, you can't interact afterwards. Now, if you uh, realize you've made an error, notice it auto-submits on the 8th character, but if you catch it ahead of time, you can clear it. So that is a fortunate thing. On the other hand, if you do error, it will re-scramble these. However, and I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think I'm correct. That, uh... I forgot to put it on the of time. Whoops. Uh, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that it does keep the same uh, conversion. The same word you're going to convert to. So this one, for example... Uh, let's just do this one real quick, and then I'll end this one. A... K F M A I R U tilts are zero seven two four seven zero three seven. We'll subtract, so that's A. Eleven minus seven is four. Four M is thirteen minus four is nine. A we're gonna go backwards seven. So T. It's negative six. 1 minus 7 is negative 6. You could go 26 minus 6 to get the same place. Uh, I O N. So addition becomes jigsaw. Let's miss this one on purpose. Except that I had a limited number of strikes. Yeah, that's fine. Can't believe I forgot to turn on Zen mode. That's alright. You'll get to see uh, behind the scenes errors. It's exciting. But I mean, really, that's all there is to this module. Let's turn to one. It looks like tweaks is uh, not tweaking. Huh. Weird. Okay. Tweaks is on Zen. Let's do one more together. This is not a hard one, so I don't think... Uh, you need a whole lot of work. So let's blank the screen, give you a shot at it first, and then I'll, uh, and then we'll work through it together. But I think one should be enough to get you through. Uh, letters are Oscar, Yankee, Romeo, Golf, Uniform, India, Quebec, Sierra. My turn counts are five, four, 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 one, zero, two, five. Go ahead and pause, work that out if you'd like. Alright, that's what we should have gotten. So we'll do the subtraction. Um, o minus 5 is J. Y minus 4 is U. R minus 4 is N. Is that enough? Uh, junction. You know, I thought these were alphabetized, but judgment and junction are not uh, alphabetized correctly. Minor thing. Uh, so junction has to be my word. Uh, G minus 4, T minus 1, yeah. Uh, so that's going to convert to indicate. Wow. Indicate. And we will reconvert by adding these letters. So N R H M D A V J. And truthfully, a lot of this is just practicing uh, offsets and practicing your uh, number letter conversions, which comes up so often in Katane that it becomes second nature after a while. Uh, so I get the answer should be this. Uh, let's double check and make sure indicate still works, shall we? Oh, it does not. Okay. Well, I can, uh, I'm in junction, not indicate, but yeah, so notice it does give something different. Now, this is actually one of those few modules that uh, probably a half, if, if, if one wanted to, uh, as a diffuser, you could skip a lot of steps. Because, I mean, your offset is just how many tilts forward. So without even writing this down, my first letter is obviously a Y. This one is L minus one, two, three clicks. So I, F minus one click is E, M minus one click is L, so Y, I, E, L. 
Hey, yielding. I might could get yielding to my expert without them even having to do the conversion. Likewise, if they give me indigos, I can just add the offsets. So I, N, O, P, Q, D, E, I, J, uh, G, H, I, J, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. So you can be kind of creative and clever with this if you want. I don't know that necessarily it's faster, but you can do it. Uh, but that's all there is really to Caesar Cycle. It's, from the ones that I've looked at, probably the easiest of the Cycle modules. So, up to you uh, what you want to do with this one, how you want to play it. Uh, it's not a bad module. It's just a matter of getting it uh, all across. So, that's going to wrap up this tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can leave them down below as always. Until next time, guys, it's been Elias. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.